Welcome back to Japanese Fermentation Week. Today, I'm gonna to show you two really easy recipes. Like we've spent, you know, day one, spending like three days on how to inoculate the rice koji. I'm gonna show you how to make two amazingly easy sauces that they add so much flavor to your dish that you're gonna love it. Shio koji, shio, is salt. Uh, in Japanese. So basically we're going to mix our inoculated rice koji with water with salt. Uh, stir it once a day um, for about five, you can you can go like five to ten uh, days. I'd say the flavor of this is actually less strong than this one, but essentially it's like kind of like amazake, which we made yesterday, that's quite sweet. It's like a sweet rice kanji and you mix it with salt. You kind of get this like it's mainly salty, but like kind of like sweet salty, um, kind of like a sauce. And so I saw a lot of people use this like for like, you know, marinades for different things. I just put this with some tofu because I really wanted to get a good taste of it. And so, yeah, there is a little bit of that like sake funkiness there, but also uh, just like a nice like salty sweet. Let me just try it again because I... This one has been aging a little bit longer. It's mainly salty, but at the end it finishes sweet, but not necessarily in like a sugar way. It's like a gentle uh, sweetness at the end. And then it smells a little bit like cheese, like the beginnings of cheese. <laughs> This is the one that I like. This is the one that I like so much better. So this is shoyu miso, which is essentially like soy sauce mixed with the rice koji that we made before. So um, if you wanted to keep this gluten-free, just use tamari instead. So it's essentially just tamari or soy sauce and then the, the rice koji. This thing is magical, okay? So you have the saltiness from the soy sauce and then you have the sweetness and the you know and all the different fermented flavors from the rice koji and the soy sauce together so this when i even like on day one it smells like uh like a like a salty savory mushroom is how i liken it too and, and like that 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 flavor is like really nice too because there's like a little bit of like sweetness in the backdrop it's like everything it's like an everything flavor so um i just put a little bit of this over mushrooms and i grilled it and it was just like so packed with flavor i think because this already kind of smells tastes like like mushroom um if you any kind of protein you could do you know tempeh you could do whatever meats you have you can do you know tofu um it would be really, really nice. Like this is the sauce. I mean, both are nice. The one, the one with the soy sauce is going to be your winner. You're gonna love it. You have to try it. Like even, you don't always have to make your own koji. You can buy it um, and then you make it with this. And it's just, uh, it's just a really, really good flavor. So.
as you can see after about a day or so some of this might need topping up because the rice has absorbed all of the soy sauce and the salt water so for the soy sauce it's easy because you can just top it up with a little bit more for the salt brine just make kind of the same concentration just a little bit of it uh, or you can just maybe add in just like a little bit of water just to make sure that it is somewhat covered so that nothing bad grows on it and then of course every day just a little bit of mix just to aerate it 